I want to teach you how to make our go-to keto dessert. This is Steve's very, very favorite, and it's pretty simple. We call it fluff. It's essentially cream cheese and heavy whipping cream, and we're going to mix it up in the mixer. And to it, we add some cocoa powder and vanilla, and this is liquid Splenda. It just seems to be work the best, least carbs. It works well for us. So this is everything you need. You don't actually need these, but these little guys are incredibly convenient for portion control and making sure you have your exact carbs without having to weigh anything, but they're not easy to open. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those open. Two ounces of cream cheese in these individually packaged packages. Um, the vanilla is up to your taste, uh, about a, a teaspoon maybe a little more, maybe a little less. The cocoa powder really is up to you, anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon. Um, and you're gonna wanna make sure you mix this well, so this is should be just going in the very, very beginning. And the Splenda, I use two healthy squirts. Um, and that seems to be fun. I like to taste it, or have Steve taste it, before I serve it to make sure it's sweet enough. Um, if it's too sweet, it's too sweet. So keep that in mind. So that's what you'll need. Um, you definitely need a spatula. It doesn't have to be a Christmas spatula. So first in two ounces of cream cheese and then your one third of a cup of heavy cream. And you'll need the spatula to clean that out. So into that you're going to put your cocoa powder. And you want to get your cocoa powder mixed in on low so that it will combine well before you try to beat it up to make the whipping cream whip. So you don't want to whip it until that cocoa powder looks fully dissolved. So you're going to turn it on low for about a minute. Alright, so we have gone about a minute and it's not enough because our cream cheese is still lumpy. And you could soften the cream cheese ahead of time, but I don't ever think to do it because I always think we're not going to have dessert. Um, so I don't do that and that's also one of the nice things about the individually packaged ones. They seem to mix up better, so a minute was a little on the light side, so we're going to do it for a couple of minutes until that is smooth. Okay, our mixture is pretty smooth, so we're going to add our vanilla. And, um, you know, you can always add more vanilla after it's um, all whipped up and more sugar. So keep that in mind. If you forget, it's no big deal. I was overly, uh, well, I guess I underestimated significantly how much time it took to smooth out. It's two or three minutes. I always just turn it on and then walk away, come back in a couple minutes. Um, you're not going to over whip it on low. On high, though, you can over whip it and then you would just have sweet chocolatey butter, which I, that sounds terrible to me, but maybe that would be an okay thing. So now we're going to turn this up and we're going to whip it up on high until it's whipped cream. So here we go, all whipped up. It takes my mixer about two minutes, but my mixer is also kind of ancient. So it was a gift from my grandmother and she got it, I believe, for her wedding. So it's ancient, so yours might take more or less time. Um, depending on your mixer. So we'll get this into a bowl, but that's what it should look like. It should stick to the the whip a little bit and yeah, be very thick. Here we are with some chocolate fluff. You can make it just like this, chocolate, or you can make it chocolate -ier. You can also make it vanilla and it just tastes like cheesecake then. Um, use the syrups, the coffee syrups that have flavors to make raspberry and peach, which are good, but our very favorite my very favorite is to use lemon powder, real lemon, um, dried lemon powder to make it like lemon cheesecake. And it's lovely and it reminds us a little bit of something we have at the fairs in Montana called a lemon dairy, which is frozen lemon slushy and ice cream. And that is a great treat and we love it. So try fluff 